an example. So suppose we want to, sim to simplify the next expression. So we take a sum of two vectors, u and v, and we take a dot product with the u and v, the sum of u and v. Well, we may use a distributivity property that actually what we get here is u plus v times, the, this is one vector, times u, where times now reflects the dot product, plus u plus v times v, the dot product of these two vectors. So property 1 told us that actually we may turn around these vectors. So the inner product of u plus v with u is the same as u with u plus v. And we do the same over here. So now again we apply the distributivity property. So we get u with u plus u with v, the dot product of u and v. And here we get v with u and v with v. So we get a dot product of u with u. And since this equals u with v, we get 2 times u dot product v plus v dot product v. Well, the dot product has something to do with, uh, with the Pythagoras law. So, if we look in the plane in R2, yeah, so here we have a value A, the origin, B, and we look at the vector AB. So this is a vector in standard position pointing at the point with coordinates A and B. Then its length, of course, is the square root of a, a squared plus b squared. Now, since this angle is 90 degrees, we may calculate the length uh, of this line segment as the square root of a squared plus b squared. But actually, a squared plus b squared is the inner product of AB with AB. Yeah, since the inner product of AB with AB is the first coordinates multiplied with each other plus the second coordinates multiplied. So it's A squared plus B squared. So the length is no more than the square root of the square coordinates. So this we will take as a definition of length in Rn. So the length or norm of a vector. Yeah, the length is the same as the norm of a vector. Of a vector u in Rn. is defined as, yeah, we get two bars, and u, again two bars, which we will define as the square root of the inner product of u with itself. 